Wanting an update on the latest events in the Basimalisano village in southeast Italy, I went to the post office rather than using the online services. Unfortunately, as it was not the day of pensions, it was practically deserted, therefore lacking the minimum critical mass. For a good re-elaboration of the news, able to generate the tasty gossip. I could not do anything else but attend to the services, taking a total time of about two minutes which, to my amazement is exactly the time that I used to start my old PC. This made me reflect on the fact that if technological progress guarantees comfort and time savings in a constant way or is it all destined to a more or less planned exponential decay? Certainly maintaining the usability of a technological apparatus, at least for daily needs, is not a profitable business like the one that promises to keep us eternally handsome 20 year olds with only the use of bullshit extract at 59.99 euros instead of 599. But only for today, so as a good average user I threw myself on Google in search of sources that would strengthen my convictions as an extremist do it yourself. Stumbling upon the good Salvatore Rolazzo, the designated Italian IT expert with the infallible. Google algorithm who after having made me read 10 pages of premise, artfully crafted by the ghostwriter on duty to please Google's artificial intelligence, telling me to replace my mechanical hard drive with a solid state equivalent. Well, aren't Google and Salvatore talking nonsense? Confident, after a quick look at the prices, I spot a 500 gigabyte Samsung SSD for about 70 euros that far exceeds the value of the old PC assembled about 10 years ago and of which I knew very well the bottleneck created by the mechanical hard drives, albeit in configuration. RAID 1 which, in addition to guaranteeing data retention in the event of a hard disk failure, also guarantees almost double performance compared to a single hard disk. In the meantime, I also stuffed the PC with other hard disks recycled from various fixed and portable PCs, so I take this opportunity to check the different performances with consequent impact on the whole operating system and the various software. The motherboard in use supports interfaces, SATA 2, HATA and USB 2, while the SSD is SATA 3, but backwards compatible with SATA 2. The installed operating system is Fedora, one of the most popular Linux distributions, but having used it intensely and recklessly for several years, I decide to do a new installation and transform one of the hard drives into an external storage disk. Using an external case with a USB 2 adapter of about 6 euro, bought from the first Chinese warehouse crossed on the street. Being the used disk of a very old laptop, a USB 2 interface is sufficient for the use I intend to make of it. Had it been a SATA 3 it would have been appropriate to combine it with a USB 3 adapter, in order not to lose performance. In this way I will be able to easily move the files to the archive, if you do not have this need. Just clone the old hard disk with one of the many cloning software available also for free and often provided by the same manufacturers with the new SSD and replace it using one of the various software that measures the performance of storage devices the performance Gap immediately catches the eye, especially as regards the management of writing and random reading of small files which are those that most impact on startup and startup performance. Running almost all software, in fact, having no moving mechanical parts, they have very low latencies, which allow up to 500,000 input and output operations per second against the maximum 1,000 operations per second of mechanical hard disks. Furthermore, they are less likely to break, are quieter, consume less and are lighter. Despite all these advantages it is advisable to choose quality SSDs with integrated RAM memory and a life cycle guarantee by the manufacturer indicated in terabytes written, usually 200 to 600 terabytes of writing, taking into account that an average user consumes about 15 a year. Dot. Therefore, even if you use a SATA 3 SSD on a SATA 2 interface, even if you do not make the most of the bandwidth, you can make a PC 5 to 10 times faster. In those situations where the computing power is not the bottleneck, as can be seen from the following comparisons of system, startup and various commonly used software, on a RAID 1 configuration with mechanical disks and one with solid state mass memories.
If you haven't already, comment, share, like and subscribe to the channel. Thanks for the support. Bye.